Don't you know I'm surrounded by cameras all the time? Get away from me! Back to the vlogs. Uh, don't know if you guys watched my last two videos, they were not vlogs. Back to the vlogs, back in Oregon. Today's vlog starts at California Pizza Kitchen. Going to meet Grandma right now. Well, hi, honey. I am just Jim Dandy, especially since you're here. She had a great lunch with old Grandma Sandy. I'm with my pops right now. We're going to the doctor for my second checkup on my knee. For those of you that don't know about my said knee problem, in a couple vlogs back, I went to the doctor with my mother. Jesus Watch out, Christ. So I'm going in for another checkup to see if it's really a torn ACL or something completely different. Fingers crossed it's not too bad. Super bad news about my ACL, but uh, currently in the woods right now, trying to go on a hike. Look what we just stumbled upon. Ah! <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> turkeys. Big old turkeys. That's how you torture your dog 101. You show them turkeys, you don't let them go get the turkeys, and then you say, three, two, one. Squirrel! Currently on a trail that isn't so much of a trail. I am doing the only thing that a person with a torn ACL can do, or should do, which is hiking a dangerously steep mountain. I don't really like hiking that much. I like getting to cool destinations. I don't like the actual hiking part. We made it, we made it to the top. It took five minutes. And the view did not change at all. There's still just trees all around us. Hike was a horrible, horrible fail. Uh, we tried, couldn't find the trail, and now we are in Safeway buying food. Also, my mic broke. The stand on it, I've had this mic for three days, the stand on it broke. Tell me how this day has gone and what just happened. Everything is shutting down for us. Nothing is working out. We don't have enough money. Touch the item. Okay. We only brought $30 thinking that it was going to be on sale, so we'll, we'll just void it. We don't have enough energy to do anything. I'm gassed, girl. I'm gassed. Things just aren't in our favor. What are we going to do now? I don't know. What are we going to do now? I'm starving. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. How can I help you? Uh, can I get a Crunchwrap Supreme, please? Baby, baby, okay, we got some stuff in the mail. It's been a minute. It's unboxing boxes with Jackson. That's what's going down because Yay! we got boxes to unbox and they lead me to an exciting event that's happening tonight. First box, here it is. Oh boy, I went really deep with that one. Gotta get through to plastic now. Gotta get through to plastic. Gentlemen, thank you, Ian at Shimoda Design. Okay, next up is the box that we've all been, well, that I've been waiting for. And it's a big old long boy. Boy Scout motto, never cut toys yourself. They need to listen to the sounds. That's what this whole, that's what unboxing boxes is. It's aesthetically pleasing unpackaging. Like a warrior unsheathing his knife from a blade. Ladies and gentlemen, our very own custom shot ski. Doug and Crystal, thank you endlessly for the gift. Now, why is the shot ski important for tonight's event? It's because I figured I would bring it to tonight's event. And what tonight's event is, is our good childhood friend, also a sicko, but a kid that I have grown up with my entire life, known by Sean Fitzsimons. Just to give you some perspective on how long I've known Sean, that's me there in fourth grade, and that's Sean there in second grade, drinking Danimals at the lunch table. 
and that's us at the pumpkin patch. And tonight, in just about two hours, he will be competing in the US Olympics, representing us as a country. He's gone so far beyond a hometown hero and now has become a national, uh, a national legend. We're gonna go to the bar right now. Hopefully I get that shot ski in and the sickos, as long as all of Sean's family and friends will be there. We're gonna hopefully watch our brother put some big scores on the board. This is crazy. There's tons of people. There's, I have custom Sean M&Ms in my pocket. These have his face on them. This is rad. Full town is showing up. To watch shots! That is so nuts indeed. Sean, you done it again. That was an incredible night watching one of my childhood friends uh, be on the big screen TV performing in the Olympics. That was the quarterfinals and he qualified for finals and ended up getting third place in that competition. Now apparently in training, just before the finals happened, he actually ended up spraining his ankle again and Fortunately, he didn't lay down a run in the finals, but hey, you made it to the Olympics, brother, and that's an achievement on its own. An incredible one at that. Massive congratulations to Sean. Beyond that, you guys, thank you as always for watching the vlog. This one was certainly something out of nothing. I actually really enjoyed it, making it, filming it, everything about it. It's kind of fun to take your camera around, whatever it is you're doing, if you're not doing anything big, and just do day in the life, spontaneous stuff. And that's what this video is all about, getting my knee checked out, uh, going on a random hike that was an absolute fail, going to Safeway to get groceries, not having enough money to buy the groceries, going to Taco Bell to eat instead, and then opening up some boxes and going to watch my friend perform in the Olympics. It's a great day, it's a great week. Uh, nothing to complain about, you guys. Thank you for everything. Mia's working on something special here, and I'm wearing, with intent, premium fleece hoodie. It's one of the last things we got in stock, thanks to you guys for all the support. Go uh, cop yourself a hoodie if you're interested. If not, no worries, I still love you. Season two of With Intent dropping very soon, but we'll keep that under wraps until it's ready for a reveal. Stay posted, my friends. And always, thank you so much for the continued support. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new here. And as always, I will see you next Friday. Boop.